Hi, my name is Arthur Hanlon. I'm one of the Insight product managers working here at Enable. As many partners may have noticed, we have introduced a new AV check. Uh, some of you may already be using it. Um, this is a Microsoft Security Center check. And what we'll do today is talk through some of the benefits that uh, that, that associated with that and, and some of the some of the kind of configurations that you can go through to set that up. Now, people may be asking why we've introduced this new check. Uh, we have vendor-specific checks, so why uh, an, an extra check, an additional check? Um, and there are a number of reasons why we've introduced this, um, but let's just kind of tick through some of them and, and see, um, see what some of them are. The first one is that it provides more robust and consistent information to the Insight dashboard. Um, we query the Security Center directly, to ensure that we've got accurate information and up-to-date up -to information directly from the operating system itself. So any product that hooks into the Security Center API will register itself as an AV class product, and we will be able to pull that information out, do some logic checks against it, determine pass, pass and fail, and push that up to the dashboard for our partners to, to visualize. We've got less reliance on vendor-specific checks uh, meaning that any changes to third-party AV products will have no impact on this check. And we know that sometimes if a, a third-party vendor could, goes through some uh, re revamps of the product, um, registry settings will change, installed locations will change, and that can have an impact on the, the vendor-specific checks. Those changes won't impact this check at all. Uh, we will continue to query the security center and we'll continue to pull back that information as registered with with the operating system itself. One big thing that we've introduced is the ability to ignore Windows Defender. Um, one thing that we had been uh, had been raised and be flagged as an issue is the instantly failing check when you add it because Windows Defender is disabled when you install a third party uh, antivirus product. We have no more failed checks due to Defender being disabled or out of date. We have the option to be able to ignore Windows Defender within the configuration for this check. Uh, we can also use this check to check for the absence of a product. Because we have the ability to ignore Windows Defender, we can quite easily uh, see endpoints that don't have a product installed, don't have a third-party AV product installed. So if, if uh, some of our partners are looking to identify machines that do not have Sophos for install, installed, for example, or Kaspersky, we can ignore Windows Defender and that will flag up a failed check where we don't have a third-party AV product installed. Uh, we've been able to just make iterative changes since we introduced this check uh, quite quickly and we've made a, uh, made a few key changes to this check. One of the, the, the big changes that we made was we changed the logic so that it had a stricter checking uh, whether or not a, a, a check will pass or fail. So initially when we released this, uh, it would fail if a number of products were returned as being out of date. Um, but what we decided was that this is a little bit too lax um, and, and it was providing some passing checks where, in essence, they should have been failing. So we've introduced a stricter mode for that. Uh, and obviously, as, as I mentioned previously, the ability to ignore Windows Defender. So what we'll do is jump over to one of the dashboards just now on my test dashboard, have a look at some of the checks and go through how these checks look um, and have a look at the the output from the, some some of the checks, just so that you can kind of see that if you're not already using them. Okay, so I have my test dashboard here. I've got a selection of uh, Windows virtual machines, um, and what we'll do is we'll go through. We can see that some of the checks are failing, uh, some of them are passing. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll go through. Uh, the addition of a, this this task, and we'll go through some of the kind of outputs. So, same as a vendor specific check, we we just add it in the same way. So, if we want to add this check, uh, we would go down to the the daily checks, antivirus update check, and we would select security center from the list. Uh, and as you can see there, we've got the ability to select, deselect, exclude Windows Defender from the logic that's used to determine whether there's a pass or a fail there. Uh, so, uh, again, similar to the le the rest of the products that you see on the screen. Just select the Microsoft Security Center, it's at the top of the list, and you should be able to add that, no problem at all. 
All the other configuration items are exactly the same. If we look at this failed check here, um, let's look at the configuration of this check and, and see how it's set up. Um, so we've got this check set up to exclude Windows Defender. Uh, and that is the reason that it's failing. Uh, there is no third party AV product installed on this device and we're ignoring Windows Defender. So it doesn't take that into account when it's looking through to determine whether it's a pass or fail. Uh, it just completely ignores it as if it doesn't exist on the endpoint completely. Um, so if we look at the more information, we can see no, no antivirus products found, hence the check will fail. Um, so that's that's uh, that's excellent. We could disregard Windows Defender straight off the bat there. If we move on to this next machine, we can see that this, is, this one's passing. And if we double check the, the configuration here, uh, I'm not excluding Windows Defender in this check. Um, we can look at the more information and we can see that there's two products installed here on this endpoint. We've got Windows Defender. It is disabled. Um, but because we have a third party AV product installed, the check itself, despite not having the checkbox checked to ignore Windows Defender, the check itself will ignore Windows Defender because there is another product there that is uh, up to date and enabled. So the logic behind this check will only take into account whether or not Sophos itself is up to date. Uh, it will completely disregard Windows Defender because this is installed. Moving on to the next endpoint, um, we can see that this one here is also passing. So if we double, double click that, again, I've unchecked to exclude Windows Defender. Uh, and if we go into the more information for this device, we can see that this device only has Windows Defender. So it's only checking Windows Defender for its pass-fail logic. Uh, it's passing because it's up to date and it's enabled. Okay. Uh, moving on to the next endpoint, uh, just a, a further failure of this particular check. So if I double click on this, I can see that I'm excluding Windows Defender. Um, I've got the Security Center checked. And if I go into more information, we can see that there's no antivirus products found. So we're, we're ignoring Windows Defender here. We are checking for the absence of a product. Uh, and this was something that we were asked quite frequently about. Um, how, do we, how do we use this to determine whether or not a third party product is installed? Because some of the vendor specific checks were being used for that. So now you can use this um, this on the endpoints. So that that kind of shows you some of the outputs that you can get there. Uh, and again, just to reiterate, we 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 pull the data out of Security Center, and the the reason we do that is because antivirus products will hook into that and they will register themselves as antivirus products. Uh, and we know that the information that we're getting back is being used by the operating system itself to determine whether that's secure. Therefore, surfacing that information in the dashboard allows us to ensure that that information is available within Insight itself. You don't have to go into digging to each of the individual endpoints and pull that information out. You can see that directly in the dashboard and you can use that information to determine whether or not the checks are passing or failing. So hopefully that's been quite useful. Uh, as always, you know, feel free to look, uh, feel free to reach out to the product team, the inside product team. We are always willing to listen to feedback, We're all, uh, uh, negative and positive feedback. So please do reach out if you have any feedback on this check or any other of the functions and features within Insight. Thank you.